Does the brain age? Our brain is like a magic box full of secrets. Scientists are constantly doing research to decode our brains. You should protect your brain health, especially as you age. When our brain health deteriorates, we begin to experience many health problems. It is possible to experience many health problems such as distraction, constant sleepiness, learning difficulties, reluctance, loss of motivation, not enjoying life and hobbies, loss of balance, getting lost on the roads and experiencing digestive problems. These problems will only get worse if you don't start taking measures to protect your brain health. Before you move on to our video, you can support my channel by subscribing, commenting and liking. It doesn't matter how many neurons we have in our brain. What matters is how well these neurons communicate with each other. The more we use our brain, the more we increase the communication between cells. Brain degeneration develops gradually over the years. Therefore, the person is not noticed by himself and his environment for a long time. Forgetting things from time to time is linked to advancing age. Sleeping while reading something is thought to be due to fatigue. The fact that life is no longer tasteful is thought to be stress. There are three important signs of brain degeneration. These are fatigue, depression, and gastrointestinal complaints. What does a neuron need? Brain cells need sugar the most, namely glucose. But a fluctuating rise and fall needs stable sugar levels, not a fluctuating one. Because of this reason, diabetes, insulin resistance, consuming carbohydrates constantly, consuming sugar at every meal and between meals are the worst things we can do to our brain cells. A sufficient number of neurotransmitters are needed for brain cells to function properly. When gut health is impaired and inflammation occurs, neurotransmitter levels and the healthy functioning of the brain are negatively affected. Irregularities in blood sugar level If you do not feel full when you eat after the feeling of hunger If you get irritable and moody when it's close to mealtime If you are very energetic right after a meal, this indicates that your blood sugar is low and at the lower limit Consuming excess sugar increases the amount of tryptophan transported to the brain and therefore the amount of serotonin synthesized and secreted while this may seem like a good thing, having too much serotonin in the environment causes insensitivity to the receptors. Here's what you can do to keep your blood sugar levels under control. Consume protein and fat at breakfast. Wait as long as you can to drink coffee. Do not let your blood sugar drop. Eat a high protein meal every four hours. If you feel tired and sleepy after meals, it is a sign that you are consuming too much carbohydrates and sugar. Reduce the amount of carbohydrates and sugar in your meals. Do not consume carbohydrates alone. Consume with foods high in protein, fat and fiber. Reduce coffee and caffeine consumption. Consume lots of vegetables. Do not consume foods containing gluten, dairy products and additives. Stress and the brain Having work to be done constantly increases the level of stress in the body and brain. Not being able to spare time for oneself, not having enough time to sleep, and not be able to spare time for exercise increases the existing stress. Along with a stressful life, digestive system problems cause premature aging in the brain and the inability to make the right decisions. While living a stressful life, eating rich in carbohydrates causes both an increase in stress hormone levels and an increase in adipose tissue. As a result, it causes inflammation in the whole body and brain due to the pro-inflammatory substances secreted. Brain Blood Circulation and Oxygen Requirement Stress prevents us from breathing deeply. This means less oxygen for all our body tissues and the brain. This situation becomes more evident especially in cardiovascular health disorders, anemia, and inactivity. Gluten Sensitivity In scientific studies, it has been determined that one-third of patients with gluten sensitivity have digestive problems. One reason for this is that the gliadin peptide found in wheat gluten is deamidated. With this chemical change, gluten, which is normally soluble in alcohol, becomes water-soluble. 
In this way, molecules that our body does not recognize become able to pass through the intestine. Since this complex is foreign to the body, the immune system takes action by producing antibodies. It has been observed that there is an immune response against synapsin and GAD glutamic acid decarboxylase molecules in the brains of many patients with neurological disorders. Brain and Gut Axis The brain and intestines mutually affect each other. When there is inflammation in the intestines, the brain is affected. When aging begins in the brain, the intestines are affected. As a result of scientific research, diseases such as Parkinson's are now related to intestinal health. When the brain and intestinal axis are not working properly, you may experience indigestion, digestive difficulties, and abdominal bloating. As the brain degenerates, it loses its vagus functions. This affects the amount of hydrochloric acid secreted. Especially after eating meat or eggs, you feel like you have been stoned. To balance the vagus nerve, you can gargle, sing loudly, and activate the gag reflex while brushing your teeth. Brain Inflammation If a person has these symptoms, brain inflammation should come to mind. Inability to gather thoughts, confusion, brain fog, slowing of the speed of thought, loss of concentration and inability to focus after meals, brain fatigue after exposure to chemicals, fragrances, and perfumes. Three types of cells make up the structure of the brain. Nerve cells are neurons, connective tissue cells, and immune system cells are microglia. Under normal conditions, microglia calmly clean the metabolic products that occur in the brain. However, in the presence of inflammation, they contribute to inflammation and damage their environment by secreting cytokines and other chemicals. In this case, brain fog, slowness in movements and speech can be seen in the short term. In the long term, Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases can be seen. What can be done to calm microglia and curb inflammation? Learn to deal with stress and get help. Do not consume alcohol. Do not consume sugar, control your blood sugar, lower your insulin levels. Eat a B vitamin rich diet. Avoid products with additives and processed, refined carbohydrates and sugar. Increase consumption of plant polyphenols. Neurological autoimmunity. Autoimmune diseases are increasing day by day. Studies have shown that one out of every 10 people has an autoimmune disease. Autoimmunity is an immune response developed against any molecule outside the body. It is the body's own immune warfare due to the body being directed to its own tissues. As with all organs, autoimmunity may develop against the central nervous system. The most common autoimmune diseases today are Thyroid gland diseases are celiac disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, and rheumatoid arthritis. Serotonin if you don't enjoy life and what you do. If you are experiencing sadness, anger and anger. If you are experiencing loss of enthusiasm and excitement. If you feel a lack of happiness and pleasure in relationships. All the symptoms, such as not being able to sleep deeply, indicate a lack of serotonin in your brain. Spending time in daylight and outdoors is very important for serotonin synthesis. UV rays increase serotonin synthesis in the brainstem. Regular walks and exercises in the open air will increase your serotonin levels. In the light of all this information, you can do the following to protect and revitalize our brain. Do not neglect to exercise regularly. Take walks outdoors whenever possible. Take care of a balanced and healthy diet. Avoid carbohydrates and sugar. Be moderate in your caffeine consumption and do not overdo it. Don't always do the same things in the same order and change your daily routine from time to time. Organize trips to meet new places and new people. Be social. Create a group of friends and meet from time to time. Be open to learning new information. Read books, read articles, and always learn new things. Try to learn a new language. Try to learn a new instrument. 
Eliminate cigarettes and alcohol from your life. Do not sleep more than you need. Stay away from stress or learn to cope with stress. Take up new hobbies and meditate. If you want to be informed about useful information on our Natural Health channel, you can support by liking, subscribing, and pressing the bell button. In this way, you can watch our new videos with the notifications that will come to your message box.